Do you have a room in need of a makeover, but not much time or money to get it done? I know at this time of the year, I like to change things up in my family room to give it a lighter, airier feel. So today I've put together 10 easy and affordable ideas for refreshing a room. I'll show you how in less than a weekend, you can give your space an inviting new look. So let's get started. When we first see something new, it's stimulating to our senses. However, the more we see it, the less stimulating it becomes. Over time, our brains become accustomed to the presence of our room decorations, and we simply stop noticing them. That's why a simple room refresh is so satisfying. I hadn't updated my living room decor since packing away my Christmas decorations. So if you're like me, you'll want to start your room refresh by removing any heavy or wintry items. I took down a pom-pom wreath and some snowy candle rings. Then I moved to my mantle, which still looked quite wintry, with dark metals, candles, pine cones, and dark green stems. You may also want to remove any decor that you're tired of or that you just don't really like anymore. This will give you a fresh palette as you begin to redecorate. When refreshing a room, new curtains are an easy way to make a big impact without spending much money. They can update the overall look and help to tie other elements of the room together. I recently ordered some William Morris fabric in the vintage Pimpernel pattern, and I used it to make new curtains, so I was especially excited to see them up. The curtains I took down will be used in my kitchen to coordinate with my dark blue kitchen cabinets and library shelves. Little by little, I have been replacing all the silver metallics in my home with gold or black, so I finally purchased some new black curtain rods for the family room. Although I have spray painted curtain rods in the past, I decided to set these silver ones aside just in case I ever want to use them again. Accent walls can add color, texture, and visual interest to a room. They also provide an opportunity to express your personal style and add a unique touch to your space. Several years ago, I painted the back of my family room bookcases blue, and I was ready for a change. This time, I picked up a roll of peel-and-stick wallpaper that was on clearance at Home Depot. I chose a traditional pattern that I thought complemented the curtain fabric and would also accentuate the bookshelf accessories. To begin, I pre-cut a piece of the wallpaper to just slightly longer than the wall. Then I lined the paper up across the top of the bookcase, I made sure that a few inches of the paper overlapped with the side wall to fully cover the blue paint. I pulled off the backing paper a little at a time, smoothing out the wallpaper as I moved my way down the wall. Once it was fully adhered, I used a metal ruler and a utility knife to cut the extra paper off of the side and along the bottom. I followed the same process with the second piece of wallpaper, only this time I lined up the pattern with the first piece before I firmly pressed it to the wall. Once again, I used a metal ruler and a utility knife to cut off the extra paper along the top, bottom, and side. This literally took me less than 15 minutes. When I'm redecorating, I shop my home for furniture pieces that I might want to bring into the room. For this room redo, I wanted to swap out my coffee table. I love this old trunk, but for spring and summer, I wanted something lighter. 
I had a glass coffee table in my basement storage room that we used in our previous home that was a thrift store find. I think I paid $20 for it. It was the perfect size, but needed a fresh coat of paint. I spray painted it black to match the curtain rods. Glass coffee tables work well with so many decor styles and help to make a room feel open, airy, and bright. Of course, one disadvantage is that they show dust and fingerprints, so frequent cleaning is needed. I've always struggled using furniture in front of the built-in cabinet in my family room. I've been using two chairs and an ottoman for a while, but wanted to try something different. I grabbed a round table from another room to use between the chairs. Hopefully, the chairs will get more use now that there is a place to sit down a drink or a laptop. I'm tired of the farmhouse style lamps in my family room and I am definitely ready for a change. So I've been looking at both retail and thrift stores, but I haven't yet found anything that spoke to me. So for now, I'll just update my existing lamps. I painted them with a mixture of ivory chalk paint and salt wash to give them that aged, crusty appearance that I like. I used a 50-50 ratio of paint to salt wash and just dabbed it on with a brush. After it dries, you can distress it with sandpaper, but I decided not to. I'm going to keep looking for lamps, but until then, at least these are white and bright for spring and summer. Another easy update is to swap out your pillows and throw blankets. For spring and summer, I like to use lighter and brighter fabrics to give the room a fresh and cheery feeling. I replace velvet and heavily textured pillow covers with cotton and linen ones. You can make your own pillow covers or you can buy inexpensive ones from places like Hobby Lobby, Ikea, or Amazon. I found some pillow covers in William Morris patterns on Amazon for less than $5 each. I'll have them linked in my Amazon store. In place of the blue faux fur throw blanket, I put out a thrift store coverlet. This was a large piece that was left over from a previous project. I had originally purchased it for just a couple dollars at Goodwill. So don't forget to check out the linens the next time you're at the thrift store. I know some people are quite hesitant to put nails in their walls, so they rarely change out their wall decor. I'm not one of those people. I like change, and it only takes a minute to spackle and touch up a nail hole. In fact, I just recently put up this gallery wall of tree images, but I decided it looked too modern next to the William Morris curtains. So instead, I hung up a pair of botanical canvases that I had been admiring at Hobby Lobby. I also took down these DIY metal branches and hung two thrifted vintage landscapes in its place. And for a more summery look, I replaced the DIY gold wall sconce with a white corbel and a small plant. I love to use corbels in unexpected ways. I often use them as bookends. I change out my accessories even more often than my wall decor. I started by freshening up the table behind my sofa. I wanted to add a large plant for spring and summer, and I had recently thrifted a large metal planner for under $5. To brighten it up, I gave it a couple coats of ivory chalk paint, and when the paint was dry, I distressed it with some sandpaper to emphasize its pretty design. You might not think of using chalk paint on metal, but it can totally transform a piece and give it a wonderfully aged appearance. 
I filled the planter with some packing styrofoam and then began adding some faux ivy stems from an old thrift store arrangement in my stash. I was so happy to read recently that faux ivy is coming back in style. To give the arrangement some additional height, I added a few sticks from my yard. The ivy stems were a bit dusty, so to clean them, I sprayed them down with some silk plant cleaner. I also wanted to add some distressed books next to the plant on the sofa table, so I used a utility knife to cut the covers from a few old books. I know some of you are cringing that I am destroying books, but I've already saved these from the landfill when the school where I once worked was getting ready to throw these out. I just love the texture and color of old books missing their covers. Small decor gets lost on this sofa table, so I used these old books as a riser for a metal bird figurine. Now to the bookcases. I mostly just edited my accessories as I returned them to the shelves. I wanted a bit more open space to see the new wallpaper. I also traded out one lantern and a rusty metal box with some small garden-themed accessories for a summery touch. I made similar changes to the second bookcase. For the mantle, I returned the vintage frames and thrift store birdhouses, and then on the left side, I added a pitcher and eucalyptus stems that were both DIY projects in a previous video. On the right side, I removed the vase of dried flowers and added an old corbel, and I swapped out the dark green wreath with an ivory one. Next, I took down the fireplace matches and hung a basket in their place. I love how this droopy plant looks hanging over the side of the basket. For an airier look, I wanted to remove something from the hearth, but I just love my old wood tote, so instead I decided to take down the small table and move the wood tote in its place, which would open up the space around the hanging basket. I took out the candles and pine cones that were still in the tote from Christmas and replaced them with dried flowers and some bird-themed accessories. I don't like having a lot of candles sitting out during the warm months. Instead, I'll just add a nicely scented votive candle to a pretty container. I think every room should have a live plant if possible. I would love to have a live plant on the sofa table, but unfortunately that back corner just does not get enough sunlight. So I added a small tabletop plant to one of the end tables instead. During the warm months, I like to use fewer metal and more glass accessories like these pretty blue vases. I also like to add faux flowers in a few spots around the room. To create a summary arrangement, I combined two thrift store finds, a faux orchid and a clear glass vase. I just used some small rocks to hold the orchid stems upright. Mirrors are such a practical addition. They can make a room look bigger, brighter, even more elegant. Because they reflect both light and surfaces, they're a great way to make a room feel more spacious and airy. This is especially helpful in small rooms where every inch counts. As a finishing touch, I decided to update my cabinet hardware. I just spray painted them with the same black spray paint that I used on the coffee table. I wouldn't recommend painting handles that get a lot of use like those on kitchen cabinets. However, it is a perfect and inexpensive update for less used handles and knobs.
you enjoy room makeover videos like this, here's another video I think you may like. Thank you so very much for watching today. I love and appreciate you all so much.